Well, before the players come on to court for the second of our finals, which of course is women's singles, it gives us a chance to look at the destination Dubai list. And one thing is clear because Alish Were moving up two places from number three after her victory in Japan, because she's in the final, she will remain at number one after today's final. As far as Ratchanuk is concerned, she's going to move up one place, win or lose. She'll go up to number six in those rankings. So our Olympic champion, defending champion here, appearing in her third consecutive final at the Indonesia Open. Lee Shwere. And the hugely popular world champion, Ratchanuk Intanon from Thailand. Just 19 years of age. What a match she had yesterday against the former world number one, Wang Shishian. It was an hour and 23 minutes of some of the most wonderful badminton I've ever witnessed. So it is the number one seed, Li Shuere, the defending champion against the world champion, seeded four this year at the Indonesia Open. Well, if we look at the draw for uh, the women's singles, you can see that at semi-final stage, two Chinese players, two Thailand players. At the quarterfinals, just four different nations. But, Morton, is this just a demonstration of what we have been talking about? China has been dominant in women's singles, but we think that Thailand is up and coming. You look at that quarterfinals, three Chinese players, uh, three Thailand players, and it really is the way women's singles is emerging. Absolutely. I, 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 when we talked about, you know, the Yuba Cop in India, mm. we talked about that one of the few nations that could actually dent China was India because they have two good singles. Yeah. And if you look at it, Thailand can do the same, but Thailand didn't even make the semis. Yeah. I, I can't even remember if they made the quarters but they can dent China because they have very good lady singles. Yeah, well, seeing Anish Wehre's stats there. Five tournaments played so far this year, five finals, winning two of them. And take note of her quarterfinal against the three-time former champion, Sina Nawal, which just picks up on the point you were making. Yes. But also, Jindapon from Thailand, her first ever Super Series semi-final. We're going to see a lot more of her So, 23 years of age, Li Shuere from Chongqing in Sichuan province. Her opponent, Arachanuk, just 19. Now, I'm a little surprised, in a way, that she's gone down to number six in the world ranking. She has been as high as two, but in all fairness, when you look at her results earlier this year, six tournaments played, one final, that was the first Super Series event of the year, the Korea Super Series, she lost to Wang Yi Han in that final. Since then, she's had a bit of a mixed bunch, hasn't she? She's been indifferent in her form. But I thought yesterday against Wang Shoshian, the former world number one, I thought her fighting spirit, her sense of urgency within the rallies was reminiscent of the form that took her to that world championship gold medal. And we haven't seen enough of that since that gold medal in Guangzhou. I agree, totally agree. And we saw it in the quarterfinal again against Sun Yu. Yeah. Well, she played a brilliant match. I am a little bit hesitant before this match because I think Ratchinox used a lot of energy winning the match yesterday. Yeah, an hour and 25 minutes as opposed to just 37 minutes. Yeah, but it's not only, it was a long match. Mm. It was a tough, tough match. Mm. It was long rallies. And we saw on occasions that we were actually thinking she was cramping. Yeah. So I'm a little bit hesitant to see whether that's affecting her performance today. But let's see. Let's see. Let's hope not. Let's hope we will have a real Ladies fight Ladies and here. gentlemen, on my right, Li Shure, China. Now Jan Lin from Dao, the Philippines. Oh, 
So the world champion against the Olympic champion. How good <laughs> does that sound? Yeah. Doesn't get better. I'm looking forward to this, exactly. And two different nations. Oh, well it's left. just gone long. Morton, we had a, a little look just a moment ago on the previous encounters between these two players. This is the eighth meeting on the previous seven. Li Shui Rei has won five of them, which, again, I think contributes to your feelings that uh, not only is Rational perhaps going to struggle to recover from that intense semi-final, but also that the psychological effect of having lost more often to her opponent than she's beaten her is also a, a factor. It is, and, and even a, a further factor is uh, the, the actual play, the, the game that Leisha Ray is playing is probably not suiting uh, ratchet up that well because there there's just pace and pressure the whole time is she's not going that much on attack she's just playing really fast basic game and obviously spiced up with some good shots now and again but it's a basic basic but fast game and that's not suiting ratchet up very well Landed in a little yeah. look quickly from Rachanuk towards the line judge. Ooh, is there going to be a challenge already? Is a non. Challenge. Oh, it's really lovely. In the first game, and there's a challenge. Yeah, I think she will lose it. You think it was in? Yeah. Mm, very difficult to tell. Maybe yeah. see better. For, ooh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, no, She's got in. a good chance. Then. Yeah, I think she She's has got a good chance. We'll yeah. wait for Hawkeye. I will get it before us, I think. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh. oh, it was in. Oh, no, it's out. Out by a whisker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do love this Hawkeye, don't you? Yes, we do. I love it. Yes, we do. One, three. I love the whole challenge system. I just want more of them. This is what I'm afraid, you know, in terms of this actual match for us to watch it is going to be the agenda. Leisha Ray is dictating the pace. Ratchanok is trying to react to it. But I fear that she hasn't got that stamina to stay with her due to a tough tournament on the way. Yeah. champion had to save Five, one. game points in the second round in the second game in a very very long second game 26 24 she'd had a tough first round match against the world junior champion and qualifier here Akane Yamaguchi came from 10 14 down in the deciding game to win that one and of course that semi-final we talked about all that said more and of course in the world championship Six, final when these one. two players played against each other I remember very clearly that Arachinot came back from 12-19 down in the opening game, saved three game points, and I thought that Li Shuere got a little bit frustrated by her opponent and that fighting Seven, spirit, which one. I suppose in a way enhances your opinion that with Arachinot having such a hard semi-final, mm. will she be able to to fight in that same way as she did during the World Championship final? I, I don't think so, and that's, no. that's, that's my whole point. And you know, I honestly, I talk from experience. Yeah. You know, you, you go through Two, one seven. tough match after the other, and eventually when you get to that final, it's just sold out. Mm. There's nothing left. Mm. Oh, 
down wide. Yeah, but much better to lose in the final and leave nothing left for wondering maybe if and then not win in the final. So even if you're very tired, you still give it everything. You give it whatever you have. If you've run out of steam, you've run out of steam, but you still give 100%. Yeah, I, I remember I, I played actually a semi-final here against Nisbon City a long, long time ago. And obviously it was the old scoring system. And I honestly, after the match, I could not remember how I won that setting in the third. I could not remember. I was completely gone. Mm. Next day, I got two and three. Yeah, who was that against? Going in. But it could have been uh, a Grand Prix final. Four. Mm. We played a lot in Indonesia in those days. Played the Grand Prix finals, the World Cups, and obviously the Indonesian Opens. Oh, brilliant net shot, absolutely superb from Mishwere. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, it's little fly. errors like that You're that are the sign to me of tiredness, that accumulation of tiredness that you were talking about, Morton. Yes. It builds, doesn't it, throughout the tournament. What do you do in a situation like that? You've just talked about the fact how you've experienced it. Do you stick to game plan A in your normal style, or do you say to yourself, right, I have to go to this? For this? You, you have to twist it in a totally different way. Yeah. Especially, you know, having my, my game, and I would say it's very similar to Rajanok. Um, she's got to, she's got to draw her opponent into the net try to see if she can get more net exchanges because that's not so challenging in, in terms of physical. Yeah. And, and obviously she's got to go for really good shots. She's got to take chances, Eleven, go smashes five. on the lines and all that and Blade. play a few trick shots, try to upset the rhythm. Uh, obviously take as much time as possible between rallies uh, as much as what the umpires allow you to do. Yeah. Short and sweet. Really try to go for it, and you can see the coach is really happy as well. Six eleven. that next shot. Did that get deflected by hitting the net court? Yes, it did. Yeah. 
But uh, I don't well, know once again whether they um, heard us because I actually think that's what she's trying to do now. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it there, no deflection. Beautiful shot. But that's a definite sign of being tired. She's not getting to that one. It's a good shot from Leisha Ray, no doubt about it. But a fresh Rachinok would get it. Yeah. Off for that. Eight and obviously. There is no doubt in my mind that Leisha Ray just have to stay calm and composed and play her shots and play her game and then just have that patience to follow through. That smash was a, a bit of a, you know, taking chances, panicky Ready shot. Over. Where this was a lot more solid. There was a good follow up on it. Should it not go down, she was prepared to play the next shot and so on. She's yeah. got to stay very composed and focused. Yeah. And chances are that she will go and pull through. In tennis, you would call it percentage tennis? Yep. That's landed in. There's, a, there's something else in the equation here, Morton, that we haven't really talked about. I did mention when we were looking at the Destination Dubai list that Li Shui Ray had won last week in Japan. We talk about accumulation of tiredness. Her opponent lost in the first round last week. So she has, not that she would have wanted a sort of rest last week <laughs> in Tokyo, <laughs> but yes, she's had a lot of very tough matches this week, the world champion from Thailand. But this lady has had two weeks of very tough matches. So maybe that's an influence on the accumulation of tiredness. Yeah, but uh, it all depends on how hard she had to fight for it in Japan. I wasn't there myself, but uh, then you have to go Sorry, dig into the, into the numbers and matches and all that of, of last week. It can also work in a, in a positive way for her because it gives a lot of confidence having won one tournament going on to the next. Yeah. Also, obviously, depending on how much energy you're spending on it. But it, it's a bonus. It's, it's on your confidence account. Oh, I would challenge that. 16, 11. So Ratchinok chose not to. Mm, well, you're looking straight down that line. Yep. Play the net. That's where I think, uh, you see, she should play that next. Rationok. Rationok. In, in a situation like that, Leisha Ray is actually inviting her in, and she should play that shot. She should go for it. She's 16-11 down. If she can play a nice tumbling net shot, it could be 12-16 rather than 17-11. Yeah. She's got to take those chances. Yeah. Especially when you've got an invitation. Well, do you remember a couple of rallies ago, she left one on that back line and it landed in. I think there was real hesitation again. Well, 17. Yeah. May 
maybe the influence of that previous one made her play a shot that initially she was going to leave. Eighteen, thirteen. It's been called good. There's been another challenge here Rachanuk in from Rachanuk. Immediately look to the umpire. I think she could be right. Mm. Oh, she was right the last time. Yeah. We're asking Hawkeye to have another little look. One here we go. It's unsuccessful. Oh, that one is in. <laughs> look at that. That's why we need the technology. Oh. oh, she was way off balance. Leash way away. 20. Game point. 30. Uh, got away with it and perhaps senses that her opponent just a fraction slower than normal. So, game points, seven of them to be precise. Delightful, isn't it? Yeah. Opening game, 21-13. 17 minutes of play. Well, very, very impressive from the Olympic champion. And indeed the world champion, as we thought. She might do, looking a little bit jaded. Well, the whole body language of this young lady. Well, sometimes she does look as if she isn't really interested, looks very relaxed, very laid back sort of persona about her. But it is going to be an upward battle from here. But 
she has the racket skills. What just delights me when I watch Ratchanuk Inton on play is the just the sheer skills and the variation in her tools in the box, as you like to describe it. Yeah, yeah, she's got a lot. But Second game. they are not Love all. Play. so strong they can stand alone. Her, her technical abilities you cannot stand alone in the sense that, you know, you, you, you have players like um, Linden, Targo, Zhong Wei, these kind One of players that have love. such strong technique that they can stand alone on many occasions that you don't have to follow it up by, by good physical work. Physicality. Yeah. But she, she's got to have that physicality to back it up. She hasn't got a technique that can dent anyone at any time without love. backing it up. Yeah. If I yeah, no, explain I, myself. I understand exactly what you mean. That's really good play. Sure. Yeah, I mean I've just been talking obviously One, about two. the skills of a Rapture, but uh, given what you've just said, immediately went through my mind, yep, he's right. And Li Shuere is the complete package. She has the skills, she has the physicality, and she has the tactical awareness as well. Yeah. But can be shaken. We've seen her being shaken on a number of occasions Three, mentally. One. But uh, the, the package, as you look at it, is really strong. Mm. Start by Ratchinok. No one's gone wide. Is this one of. One. Oh, she's going to challenge. No, I think she's changing the shuttle. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, I was getting too excited. <laughs> Thought we were going to have another challenge. No. I think she's changing the shuttle. It's quite far out. Yeah. A very good start by Thailand. We noticed yesterday, I think it was Morton with Ratchanok, a couple of times coming to the net. I don't think she stays with the shot long enough. She's no, almost she's pulling away. Before she's played the shot. Yeah. I think that was a, an example of that. It's been a fairly erratic start 
for both the players in this second game. Oh, it's called out. I was going to say that's landed in. There's going to be a challenge here. Rajanov Intanov, challenge out. And this will be her third challenge. She's had one successful, one unsuccessful. So if this is unsuccessful, she's got no challenges left. Here we go. Oh, yes, good challenge. Skill, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. I think sometimes we forget it, just how skillful Seven. and how deceptive Ishwara is. That's just a glorious shot. And a tired ratchet off. Yeah. Seven one eight all now. Yeah. Yeah, way out of position. across <laughs> yeah that's the desperate shot if you go across but I would have done it Jin Jin quite happy Notice Lee Schwere after the rally there, a little job after she played the win up. Sending a very definite message to her opponent. Take a look at this. See that? Mm. I'm fit, I'm ready, I'm going to push it. Oh, this is absolutely superb. of the last 11 points going to the Olympic champion, Lee Shui Rei. Well, Morton, you were talking during the opening game about just running out of fuel and, <laughs> you know, I know marathon runners tell us about hitting the wall. Yes. I well, know Babington players, and I've experienced it myself, where, especially in these hot, humid seconds. conditions, you just can't give any more. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think uh, Ratchinok has got anything left, uh, but I, th I 
think she will obviously fight the, the very best yeah. she can. Yeah. She won't throw it in, in any way, but uh, I think, you know, people watching this match just have to accept there is nothing left. They don't be disappointed. She's really doing everything she can. Yeah. And then she's having a small break, and you see uh, some spring yes. in, in her legs again. And I, I assure you, in two minutes, she is back flat footed. I don't think it was two minutes, Morton. I think Rachinok can take a lot with her from this tournament. I think you were so right in what you said in, in the opening before this match that we suddenly have seen that Rachinok we saw that won the World Championship last year. And, uh, and I, I so agree with you. And I, yeah. I think we can, I Are think she can take a lot of good eight. things back from this tournament and say, okay. I know now I can do it. There are obviously things I have to work on. Yeah. But there are so many positive things I can use. Yeah. Four beef over. Nine, 13. the net that's what she said yeah. I I can't stop laughing you know sitting here behind the courts mm. and I think that's what she should have done from the very beginning take that chance play it back at the net see if she can get some easy points she doesn't have to work for just pure skills She's challenging, and I thought she would. Chen Jin would have done the same. I, I looked uh, to the coach's bench, and he, he said the same. So chances are that she's right. Now, that's something that we need to address, actually. Oh, it is called in. It is called in. She's wrong. Because I don't personally like the way the players turn and look at their coaches for advice as to whether to challenge or not. We need to stop that. Yeah, I don't know can't. how. <laughs> you can't. You can't. Serving over. Ban the coaches. <laughs> Yeah, from why the not? side of the court. Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> we are a couple of old fogies, aren't we? We did not used to have. No. <laughs> Can't talk about the old days. The game has moved on so much. Yes. So much better now.
gone long. Well, a little revival here. Maybe from our action of winter on. Oh dear, oh, I didn't like the way she picked up that shuttle. <laughs> no. Very slow, very deliberate. Which is only three points adrift now. Yesterday as well. Yeah. I think she plays a very solid, good backhand. Yeah. Very nice down that line. This one here. Yeah. She plays that really well. Yeah, and look at her movement and positioning after that as well. That's a fabulous cross court smash to end it. That's it. Oh. Out. Two points away from retaining her title. One point away. Going long. Champion once again. Nishra Ray. Two game victory over the player that beat her in the World Championship final last year. Absolute symmetry in the scoreline. 21 13, 21 13 Much in just 37 minutes. Well, we feared, really, didn't we, Morton, about yes. the after-effects of Ratchanuk's magnificent semi-final yesterday against former world number one, Wang Shoshian. And sadly, our fears were realised as the match progressed. But I, I think, you know, I'm very, uh, I'm very happy watching Ratchanuk here. I am really very happy watching her. Because on, on some occasions, I have felt that she didn't care that much. Yes. And even today, when all odds now is against I'm her. I'm with Li Shui Rei. Gong Xi, really Gong Xi, congratulations, you won again. Now, do you think the match is going to be the same? Yes, the match is going to be the same. I'm very happy to have the fans for us. So she said that today's competition is very important and I would like to congratulate you for winning. And you won twice in a row, two times in a row. I mean, last year and this year. So do you think next year you can win again? So, She's gonna put up, she's gonna be positive thinking about it. So once again, give it up for Li Shui Rei. Well, she's already Rey. been in a hat trick of finals, studio. three consecutive finals, but still, she wants more. She wants to come back next year and hopefully retain her title. Good attitude. For a third year, very good attitude. And a very good performance in today's finals. Yes.
through to the prize presentation for the women's singles. Well, her second final of the year, her second Super Series final, and the second time for the world champion. She's got to settle for second best, but what a year Lee Schwere is having. Six tournaments played, six finals, and today her third title. The gold medal. But first, the silver medal to the beaten final. final today in Super Series events and it's her 11th title. <laughs> it's a very handsome check too. WF Events Committee making that presentation. Mr. Ade Chandra, handing in the hand bouquet to runner-up and the winner of women's single. Dan memberikan bunga adalah Bapak Ade Chandra sebagai legenda badminton kita. Sekali lagi berikan tepuk tangan yang meriah buat para pemenang hari ini. Yes, let's give a big round of applause. So the One players pose for the photographers with the presentation party. On the far right, as we look at them, former. Did they win the world championship here in 1980 with Christian Hadanatha? Yes, I think you're right. Mm. Uh, very good doubles pair. They won the All England uh, on many occasions. Well, the Olympic champion and the world champion didn't live up to the billing, it has to be said. But it is. Great to see Rachinuk back to the sort of form that took her to the world title. We've seen it earlier in the tournament, but sadly not today. Just a spent force physically, I think. <laughs> so that's two of our five finals has been completed. One win for Denmark, the Olympic bronze medalists beating the Olympic silver medalists in the mixed doubles final. And Danes going one better uh, than last year. Lee Schwere retaining her women's singles title. Next up, history is in the making. Kenichi Targo against uh, Jano Jorgensen. And of course, those two men's singles players uh, beat the number one and two seeds. Lee Chong Wei and Chen Long in the semi finals yesterday. All Chinese women's doubles coming up as well. And then we're going to finish off with the world champions in the men's doubles Mohamed Hassan and Hindra Sariwan up against Lee Yong Dae and Yu Yang Sung.
before the men's singles final, a chance for us to look at the destination Dubai, the men's singles ranking as far as Super Series is concerned. Well, Lee Chong Wei will remain at number one, as will Chen Long remain in his position at number two. Win or lose, Jorgensen remains three, but the interesting scenario, Kenichi Targo, if he wins, will become equal third with Jan Jorgensen. Du Peng Yu will move down and uh, Viting Hus after his very good quarterfinal here will move up to five after this tournament in Indonesia.